Holy shit, it's massive. That's ridiculous. It's huge. What? That's insane. Singapore. Huh? Singapore. <laughs> well, this airport is massive. Emmy's got the airport is massive, unlike Emmy's. I was gonna say. My arms are shorter. <laughs> Emmy's little midget arms that she's got. Hello. Hi. It's freezing in here. This airport is huge. I wonder what this plane is. Something Lux. Anyone know what something Lux plane is? It's very fancy. Yeah, it's like. Massive too. I'm so excited. For I have no idea where we go. Straight, left, left, straight, right, left. So we have a six hour layover here. And then onto the third country for the day. So I don't know where we have to go. Um, Bags are going to yeah. be transferred directly, so we hopefully hope. they get there. <laughs> we hope Fingers that we transfer directly. <laughs> it always um, makes me nervous. So, Amy's on trolley pushing duty. I don't know, quite know where we're meant to go. There's arrivals and transfer, but we're sort of so we don't know where in departures already. So um, um, I don't know if we're meant to just wait around until the next flight. Or we go to transfers. We need now the we need the exercise. So <laughs> let's just go transfers. And I figured out what that plane is. It's called Star Lux. Just looks like a normal plane. Doesn't look like anything fancy, which is surprising. Not that you guys care. <laughs> I was just interested. Um, yeah. I'm not going on those travel after <laughs> that Indonesian story. No, it was in Thailand. Oh, sorry, yes, yeah, in Thailand. At Savarna, Savarna, how do you say it? Su Suvarbanama. I don't like to. That's the airport. Suvarbanama Airport. That's it, yeah. Yeah, something close. Something. Probably not it. <laughs> it's nowhere close, but <laughs> it's close enough. We're going to find some food. Find some Wi Fi and figure out where this um, big water feature y thing is here. Was, I'm pretty sure there's like a, white, a water feature thing here. Where is this thing taking us? We just keep going up, like, We're going around in circles. <laughs> this is a very fancy airport. Uh, we've got duty free with like $45,000 bottles of whiskey. Louis Dior fish pond with like full lot of plants and stuff in it. It's just fancy. So we figured out what it's called. It's called the Jewel. So this is Terminal 1. There's Terminal 3 and Terminal 2 on that side and the Jewel's right in the middle. But I didn't do much research on it and I didn't realise that you need a visa and you're technically entering Singapore because it's a, like a public attraction. So I just applied for visas for us. Um, I don't know if we'll get them in time because we've only got another what, four hours until we can um, until we can like check in. We have to be back in the airport, so we'll just play it by ear. Hopefully, we get them and we can shoot over there. Um, but if not, we'll just float around Terminal One here. So it was easy as so. We're from Australia, obviously. You have to check your own country for the requirements. Um, but Australia, America, UK, all of those countries. We just did an online, it was a passenger declaration. So just search passenger declaration Singapore. You just fill that out, put your passport information in and get an email confirmation. It's sort of a bit weird because it said that it was a like a confirmation of receipt that they'd received it but I just assumed that, that was what it was 
and then we had automatic gates over here that you come through and they scan everything um, and it worked it was fine yeah they're just automatic gates like you'd see in like Sydney or Melbourne or Canberra um, a lot of other countries have them uh, and like... yeah depend didn't like you no, no. <laughs> No. Did I you take your glasses do... off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to do two gates, and then even the second one didn't work the first time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was being weird. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, it was it was simple. And yeah, so this is like the public side, and the other side's um, air side. Holy Jesus! It's like this mad forest at the start. Holy shit, it's massive. That's ridiculous. It's huge. Yeah, no, that's definitely worth going through the tiny bit of hassle to get the to get to do the pass, uh, passenger declaration. What? That's insane. What? That's ridiculous. I think you can go down. Up there, up there, down. Yeah, but I think you can go down and be like on the inside of it. We'll go down and then we'll go back up. That's insane. Like this is like a full blown, this is like a forest man. They're all real plants. The whole way around it and all little waterfalls and this is the most incredible airport I've ever been in in my life. Wow, it is like a triple decker. Oh, that's like enclosed. That's insane. So there's like all restaurants down here. Ooh. That's such a weird thing to look at. That makes me feel like we're falling. Like yeah. You feel like. That is. Incredible. Wow. This place is massive, mate. Look at the size of the foot locker. Oh my god. It might be even more incredible from the top. Oh, so you gotta buy a ticket. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can just walk around, mate. Just walk around the other side. We'll go and try that first. I don't know how much this um, thing is. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, so to get yeah, like to get the right value, it's what forty dollars per adult and twenty nine dollars per child, and you do the canopy park. You do the bridge that's over here. Um, there's a mirror maze around here. But I sort of have a big walking net. So it's like the bundle. What else does that have? Hedge maze, walking net, bouncing net. Yeah, so I like, get your money worth. You're going to be spending 40 or 50 Australian dollars at least. And to do that, we'd need three or four hours here, I think. So I think this is good enough. Um, but yeah, that's the option. Like if you've got kids or just you as a couple or whatever, or as a family, you can come here. If you've got a big layover, like you can, you can spend hours and hours and hours here. And there's all different bundles. So like you can just choose to do one or two things. You can choose to do the bundle, which would be better value. Um, but yeah, this place is absolutely incredible. Like, wow, wow, wow. So we've seen some sign for like heaps of nitro cold brew coffee, if you're into that sort of stuff. We are. And this is a Starbucks, mate. Look at the size of it. 
That's flash as. It's got like an upstairs area. It's got a this downstairs area. Same as some of the nitros that I've had, but it's good. I am a bit of a um, coffee snob though, so I'm probably the worst person to judge. That's good, huh? That's an awesome Starbucks. It is. I've never seen a Starbucks like that. Oh, is that normal for Starbucks in like the US and stuff? It's huge. Where do you go down? Boom. My shoulders are killing me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is as tall as you're ever going to get behind me. <laughs> so we need to go to Terminal 1, which is that way. But we can't drink our coffee there, so we'll. Um, yeah, walk that way, drink the coffee, change a battery for the fourth time today, and see you on the other side of the terminal. So, if you're waiting up at Singapore Airport for a departing flight, they've got like, this awesome lounge up here on level two. Uh, yeah, near the Louis Vuitton, big Louis Vuitton store down there. You just come along here and there's an elevator over here. Awesome lounge up here, all power, awesome view of the airfield. But don't go here, mate. Twenty-two dollars <laughs> for a beer. Go back down the elevator and just around the corner over there. There's a 7-Eleven. Get a beer for five bucks. Come back up here. You can sit in front of that bar that sells twenty-two dollar beers and drink a five-dollar beer. <laughs> I'm literally doing it out of protest. Life hacks. Life hacks. That's so weird. They've got like a second security screening point, so I have to get my laptop out again. At the gate. <laughs> Gotta get rid of your water. Mm, at the gate, so you can't bring yeah. any water onto the plane, so... It's like there's separate security for each gate. Mm. It's really interesting. Odd. It's I'd, interesting. Yeah, if anyone sort of knows why that's the case. Um, yeah, really confused me. 